Hi guys! Sam went fishing, so I decided to treat myself and create my own makeup. And I'll do it with this. Susie, I'm home! Hi! Sammy, I thought you went fishing. Well, it turns out it needs hooks, but I only have my good luck. What are you doing? Me? Well, I'm drinking tea. Just tea? Without anything? We're, uh, out of cookies. We are? It's unacceptable! I'm off to the shop to correct this flaw. Aw, that's so sweet of you. Huh? Phew, looks like he's gone. I can get back to our wonderful kit. In the middle, we have a wax wheel. It's made of six different colors. First, we need to melt our wax pieces. And then, add some coconut oil and mix. Then, we need to pour the mixture into special molds. When it cools down, you can apply it to your lips or your cheeks. Let's start our makeup party. I'll give it a little push and… <gasps> Ta-da! First, let's free our wheel. Wow, it's so colorful and bright. And here, we have these black stylish lipstick containers. Just look at this unusual structured surface. And we have two. It means that we can make two lipsticks. Guess what's in here? A black and pink palette for blush and eyeshadow. And the last component of our kit are the molds. This is where the lipstick mixture goes. Why don't we start with the lipstick? Huh, which color should I choose? Blue lipstick? <laughs> that sounds unusual. I'll press it at the bottom and try to take it out. The wax goes into the heat-resistant glass. Let's add half a teaspoon of coconut oil. Ah, it not only smells nice, but also moisturizes the skin really well. To melt the contents, I'll place the glass into the oven for three minutes. It melted! Let's pour it in. Like this… to the top. And… there! Perfect! Now let's experiment a bit. I'll try to mix two colors in one lipstick. For example, this one… Soft pink. But the whole piece will be too much. I'll break it and only use half of it. And the second color will be… <gasps> Lilac. We'll break it in half as well. Aha! Now we only need to add a bit of coconut oil. One cup. And the second cup. And into the oven you go! I'll try to pour two colors in, one after the other. First this one… and then this one… all the way to the top. Got it! But we only have two lipstick containers and three models! What should I do? <gasps> I think I've got an idea! What about making a chocolate lipstick as a gift for Sam? <laughs> I think two pieces should be enough. The chocolate has melted. I hope it works. Right? It's happening! To the top. Awesome. Now this lipstick looks the most attractive. I only need to control myself and not eat it. Let's put the mold into the fridge for 10 minutes. And while our lipsticks are setting, let's make the blush and eyeshadow palette. We've got five colors left. Let's use all of them. Soft pink, lilac, orange, hot pink, and green. And don't forget coconut oil. We'll add a bit to each glass. And perfect. Off to melt. Time to fill our palette. Oh, it's setting so fast. I'll try to make everything quickly. One. Here we go. Orange. Great. Oh, this hot pink is amazing. Huh, it reminds me of Sam. Susie! I brought the cookies! Oh, but… Oh, I don't want strawberry. Maybe some crackers instead? Fine, fine. I'll go get them. Oh, there will be a year's supply of snacks because of me. <laughs> So this is the palette we've made. These colors are so bright. Some came out less than ideal. 
some are just perfect. I think it isn't too bad for the first DIY kit. Time to check the lipstick. Dun -da -da -dum! An exciting moment! I'll tip it over to make sure. Oh, I hope it worked out fine. Let's open the clasps. And… <gasps> Ta-da! Oh, look! The chocolate one separated from the others. Let's take it out. Ooh, a gift for Sam turned out very delicious. And we'll need our wonderful lipstick containers for the remaining lipsticks. Let's open it and get everything ready. Very carefully now. Don't break the lipstick. And let's just insert it here. And twist it! Oh, look! It works! Just like real lipstick. Lid on. And the second lipstick will be even more fashionable. Made from two colors. And fit it in very carefully. And let's twist our unusual lipstick. Done! This makeup kit is really stylish. Let's see how it looks on skin. I'm absolutely in love with this green color. Huh. I can't say that it's that bright. Just a shimmer. Ooh, like lip gloss. Perhaps this blue lipstick will be brighter. Oh, yes! This color is more vivid. So pleasant. Now I have blue lipstick. I'll look like a mermaid. And the second two-color lipstick. Oh, so bright! Yay! Who ordered crackers? Oh, you've got a new makeup kit? Yes! I made it myself. <laughs> so, while I was buying food, you were making something for yourself? I've got something for you, too! Oh, lipstick! Very funny. Do I look like someone who likes to make up stuff? Oh, no, Sammy, look! It's chocolate! Ah, uh, well, now you're talking! Let's go have some tea! <laughs> Hi, guys! Today we'll make a cool, practical organizer for makeup. To store everything in one place, then Cookie and Fluffy won't touch your thingies. First of all, we need a simple box. You can use a shoe box, for example. Now let's insert three cardboard pieces along the perimeter. Making the wall sturdier, that's right! Sammy, we need to make an opening in the box. Right here. Time to draw my sword from its scabbard. Be right back. Guys, be very careful working with a cutter. Let's cover our makeup organizer with bright paper. I chose this color. I don't think anyone would enjoy an ordinary box. Uh, I think I've beaten another cutting record. Wow, Sammy, that was quick. Yep, that's the kind of opening we need for the organizer. Master Sam's flawless. Now we can insert the fourth cardboard piece that fits the dimensions of this wall. Oh, should we cover everything with this paper? Right you are. But I think we deserve some magic. Shall we? Whoosh! It's done! So oh, beautiful. For a moment I felt sad I didn't have cosmetics. Wait, it's just the beginning. Now we're going to divide the box into two parts. Insert these cardboard pieces on the sides to make the second level. I covered them with colored paper beforehand. Are we making an organizer or a multi-story house anyway? Sammy, order and comfort should be everywhere, in big houses and in small organizers. Small, eh? We had stationary houses way smaller. Don't grumble. I'm gonna give you a new task. By the way, it's coming out great! Just like our houses for stationary. We're going to need new pieces. Let's move on. So guys, we've cut out a lot of cardboard pieces. We're ready to continue building our organizer. Out of all these pieces, we're going to make drawers which will fill the organizer. Are the position of the pieces important or are they all the same? It is important. The front side should be pink, see? Let's use some magic to finish the base quicker. Oh, not bad, but it can be better. Now we're talking. Check out the result. Time to put them into our organizer. Shoo! 
I read that the first makeup bag was made in Japan. Geologists dated back to the 9th century. Why did they even need makeup bags then? Sammy, people have always wanted to be beautiful and neat. Back in the 9th century and today. Only now it's easier to do, of course. Our organizer will definitely help with that. Yeah, there were no YouTube channels that could help in the 9th century. So now we need four large rectangular pieces like these. Four pieces like this. Four smaller pieces. Four more pieces like these. And finally, these strips. Sue, do you know who you remind me of? Um, no. Who? A cooking blogger. We'll need four pieces like these four smaller pieces salt to taste. <laughs> Well, then it's time to mix the ingredients. <laughs> yeah, time to cook the dish. Right, that's why you're gonna help me, my young cook. Look, we need to take popsicle sticks and carefully make holes in them. No problem, I'm on it. Well, guys, I've glued everything. We're gonna make a flip cover. I'm going to show you how to make this kind of cover. Stick the masking tape this way and attach the cover to the base. Now cover it with another piece of colored paper so the joint is invisible. Now let's do the same from this side. First goes the masking tape. Then goes the colored paper. I can see Sam's finishing with the sticks. He's so quick today. Anyway, we've got this flip cover. Very beautiful and easy to use. Both boxes are ready. Sue, I cut and colored the sticks, but they don't look like cosmetics. <laughs> of course not. These are the fasteners for the organizer. Let's insert the screws into these holes. Guys, remember to be careful. There, this is our fastener. Um, where's Sam? Where can Sam be? At work, of course. Great job, Sammy. Just what we need. Everything for your beauty, Miss Sue. Now we need to make holes in our boxes. We'll insert our fasteners here. I've made the same holes in the base as well. Let's add a bright detail. Now connect the boxes with the base. There we go. So, couldn't we just use adhesive tape? But Sammy, we're making a practical organizer, not a kid's craft. Plus, it wouldn't look neat with adhesive tape. And the boxes couldn't move like this. Wow, it's a real transformer! Yes, Sammy, it's serious. So come on, help. Well, guys, we're getting closer to finishing our cosmetic organizer. We've set the fasteners. And this is how our boxes move. Very stylish and practical. It looks like a makeup organizer for a special agent. Cute but special agent-ish. Now we need rectangular pieces of three sizes. Time to fill the empty space of our organizer. So, do you really use this much makeup every day? It'll take an hour to apply all these things at least! It's like 30 hours a month, which is 360 hours per year! Two weeks to do makeup every year! Sammy, you're good at math, but you're not that good at making conclusions. <laughs> We've got another section here. Let's finish it. Now, speaking of makeup. Sammy, you know a lot of people have lots of cosmetics in their arsenal. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I got that judging by the capacity of this organizer. But most people just use them to a minimum. Plus, cosmetics are not just for makeup, but also skincare. I wonder if you could leave only three cosmetic items on Earth, what people would choose? I bet mascara, you use it every day. Also, a lipstick for special occasions. <gasps> and face powder! Sammy, you're daydreaming. I finished making a new section in the meantime. All right, now we need a top for the organizer. You mean this? Sammy, I thought it was impossible to pull you out of your fantasy world. Yes, it's almost the last piece. It's like a crown for the organizer. It must have been made by a king, if you know what I mean. It looks perfect. I'd say royal. All right, time to glue these pieces for the decor of our organizer. Don't forget to be careful working with hot glue, guys. So, glue one piece like this to each drawer. They look like soft handles for drawers. Well, you can call them that. By the way, we can glue everything twice as fast if you join me, Sammy. Once again, fair enough. 
Look at your makeup box. Now look at ours. Sammy, wait, it's not finished. Okay, now you can take a look. Makeup organizer. But it's really awesome. It looks cute thanks to the colored paper and special decorative elements. While the fasteners make it practical and roomy. Let's arrange my cosmetics into the organizer. So, uh, there she goes here. Now we really need to speed it up. This organizer could fit any amount of cosmetics. Well, I'm sorry, but it's time to dispose of you. Wait! Um, I'll figure out how to use it. You know me. Everybody, we invite you to make this awesome makeup organizer at home. It's very practical, spacious, and stylish. You can choose any color you like. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. I'll take the old eyeshadows away. He and need new ones anyway for this cool box. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye bye.